Hi right, guys, I'm back after a pretty long hiatus. This is part three of my uh, collection update. Reason I didn't put them out uh, about the same time I did the other two, which was like in spring. Uh, I didn't have everything. There's actually quite a bit more for uh, World War II than there's World War One here, but uh, like, let's start with World War I. I am missing one thing, which is the, which I still need to get done. I need to get the things sewed on to my, the, the Halbin cover, the regimental numbers. Uh, right. And, uh, all right, let's start out with headgear then. This is uh, I Heights Fildmutze model 1917. Uh, don't know if I've shown this. I got this when at uh, I think Rockford last year or something. It was a while ago. I think I've had this for a bit. I just got these sewn on. Uh, the Reichs Kakada and the Mech and then the Lander Kakada for Mecklenburg. This is a. Uh, Indian reproduction of a model 91 pickle halba, even though it's got the 90 89 pattern chin strap holders, but because this was for like a fusilier's pickle halba, which is why I got it. Then I got the with some creative use of painting tape, the cockades, and the chin strap on. I need to get the regimental numbers sewn on the cover, which it really doesn't fit, but I mean. It's for small, it's those small ones that are out right now that don't really work. So, yeah. And, as usual, I think in my last World War I German video, I had my cutout 1918 helmet. Then the... The, uh... C96 holster. Carrier whatever uh the uh two uh reservist ammo pouches tend to my web belt it's still the same model 14 y strap uh bread bag strap bread bag one of the two uh if you can tell here the finish ones these work i've seen guys do them at the rockford event which is pretty much the only thing i can do at two oh oh one uh, these have been modified for Mosin Nagant clips, but they still work for German, so. Uh, both of these are dated 1915, they're just not by the same maker. And then for a new item here, it's a Swedish canteen, which I plan on converting using this uh, Miltech cover. Need to get a canteen strap for this. Uh, then my 1910 Gumi Mosca, which I put paper clips on so it stays on my head. The bag, the can, and uh, then the other ammo pouch. Here's the other ammo pouch. My bayonet in the scabbard, in the, in the frog, and the, 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 the shovel. Oop, almost forgot. And the Grabendol. Uh I also have two uh, K98 ammo pouches that are like smooth leather and black that I plan on using for like early war fusilier with a black infantry belt and a brass buckle. So that's it for my World War One stuff. And the last next one should be World War Two.